Hey to YouTubers, this is Chetan here and welcome to my channel Nature Design. And the theme for today's project is Roman Goddess Venus Terrarium. And this is the statue of a Roman Goddess and Venus which I have prepared for today's project. Actually Venus is a Roman Goddess, Goddess of Love. The original statue of Venus was discovered long back. Uh, it was created something between 130 and 100 BC and that's the reason it was named as Venus de Milo because it was found in Milo Island. Now speaking about how I made the statue, uh, I just car carved the design of the statue on uh, the thermocol or say foam and then I just coated it with uh, the mixture of cement and plaster of Paris that is POP and after it dried out I colored it with acrylic color and I just stick it uh, into this bottle so that it shouldn't be moving and I can build up a terrarium around it. I stick the statue with the help of silicon. Uh, I let it dry it at least for 12 hours and after that it was stuck thoroughly or strongly to the bottle inside. For false bottom I will be using the mixture of charcoal and Nika clay balls. Now I will show you how to prepare the mosquito mesh for this particular project. Just mark the uh, surroundings of the bottle uh, or the round shape of the bottle on the mosquito mesh and cut it properly. And now there is a complication that we have already stuck the statue in between uh, or in the center of the bottle so uh, the mosquito mesh should be passing through the statue that's the reason we need to mark the markings for the statue also in between the mosquito mesh and I didn't cut the mosquito mesh properly that's the reason I have to mark the round as well as the center where the mosquito mesh can pass through the statue and this is how we prepare the mosquito mesh see I have properly marked it for the center and the round after cutting the round I am kind of cutting it into the center and this is how we can just uh, place the mosquito mesh without moving the statue now the ingredients for the substrate have been changed from so many days uh, now I am using just the dry cocoa bead dry moss and sand or soil I have skipped the part of coconut bark Previously, I have prepared a terrarium in a cola bottle and in that terrarium, I have uh, teached you how to propagate plants uh, and this is the same bottle in which I have propagated a seed box plant by placing the cutting and they have started growing. Uh, this might be also a review for that, that uh, we can just propagate plants at home in a cola bottle and I'll be using some of these plants uh, in this particular terrarium. I'll be also using few cuttings of this grass plant. I really love the color and the texture of these leaves. This plant does really good in a closed terrarium. That's the reason I'll be using some of the cuttings from this particular plant. And yes, of course, we'll be using some of the patch moss in this project. I'll be also using this uh, some cuttings of this dwarf baby tears from this terrarium. This is near about one year old terrarium which has been uh, growing really strong uh, and very nice. Actually this is a great example that how a terrarium can grow very well in a closed system, how the plants grows well and uh, it can live for a long time without water uh, and I'm really proud of uh, making this kind of plants or terrariums at home. This is also one of the plant I'll be using for this project. Uh, actually this is an aquarium species uh, but it does grow well in close terrarium. I really don't know the name of this plant so if you do know it please let me know in the comment box down below. 
so what are we waiting for let's get started uh, i am putting the false bottom that is the mixture of coal and leaker clay balls now i'll place the mosquito mesh it will be a bit tricky but in the end i'll be able to coat it properly after placing the mosquito mesh i am putting the substrate inside and i did spray some water for the substrate to be settled properly and now i'm putting some local stones just for the hardscape purpose that will look good more stones and now i am putting the badge moss in between the gaps of the stones filling up the gaps of the stones with the help of badge moss will give it a natural look I'm placing the grass plant uh, in the background. The reason for placing it in the background is it will grow taller and there is no way that I would like to hide the statue because of the plants. Uh, and when it will cover the background, it will really look good. As I said before, I'll be using few cuttings uh, of seed box plants uh, which I have propagated in this cola bottle. So I'll be using these two uh, plants but I'll be cutting it in between so that I can use it uh, on a different different places. Now I'm placing the aquarium species of the plant. I just wanted it to just uh, go around the statue and that's the reason I have kept it in this way so that it will be growing around the statue and it will look really great. As there was plenty of empty space uh, in the background so I decided to plant uh, the scraping fig uh, in the background so that it would cover up the space and it would also look good. Now I am placing some dwarf baby tear cutting in the foreground. In future the whole foreground will be covered up with dwarf baby tears and moss. I hope so. This will cover up the foreground. Now it's the time to add the cleanup crew, the spring tails in it. I'll be making a video on spring tails in future, how to create a culture of spring tails. And that's it, we are done with it. This is the final product. Please let me know in the comment box what do you think about it. And if you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe my channel you will be getting you will be always seeing new videos and especially unique videos on my channel so please uh, help and support the channel by subscribing it so that's it for the day thanks a lot have a nice day bye bye
see you next week.